Welcome, Bobby Burke, Queer Eyes Design Expert. So from concept to reveal, just kind of walk us through it. What happens is I usually go out to whatever city that we're going to be filming in. So I kind of make my own store in a warehouse. Um, and that's how I get away with doing things so quickly. We always show up with about four times more stuff than we actually know we're going to use but we want to have options. And you know, when you're putting together something that fast, you're kind of making it up as you go. So having a lot of options is always best. So that's kind of the plan. The plan is really no plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do a great job and you certainly um, tackle some a, a wide variety of interiors too. You described your design aesthetic as urban luxury. How would you describe each of the styles of your fellow Queer Eye castmates? Tan, Karamo, Anthony, and Jonathan. Tan would definitely be cottage chic because he, he loves a good old British lady look, but it still comes out chic because it modernizes it. But Jonathan, I would say like an organic modern. Anthony is definitely a sleek modern. Anthony's taste is impeccable. And then Karamo, I think his is just queer eye cool. <laughs> well, I hear Queer Eye is already renewed for a sixth season, so congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we were actually in Austin filming season six when the pandemic hit. We'll be back there soon to finish up the season, so we're excited. Change of plans for everybody. And now I'd like to invite interior design graduate student Sheridan Markham to lead our audience Q&A. Hi, Sheridan. Hello. So in light of everything that's been happening, um, where do you see the future of the interior design industry going? This situation has kind of been a bit beneficial to our industry. Digital calls like this and digital classes, it's, it's allowing us to bring ourselves closer together no matter if we're close or not. Um, and I think it's gonna open up opportunities that we never even thought of before. You guys are going to be able to take clients all over the world because you are gonna know how to function digitally. You are gonna know how to interact digitally. You're gonna know how to sell yourself and your projects through a screen. Overcoming adversity is something that is huge in all design facets, whether you're an interior designer, film producer, uh, you name it. Thank you so much, Bobby, for your time and design expertise. Thank you so much, everybody.